The topic of this video is solving inequalities. Let's look at two problems. First, 9 minus 8 times the difference 1 minus x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, so we want to get rid of fractions and grouping symbols. We don't have any fractions, but we do have a grouping symbol, these parentheses. So let's distribute this subtract 8. So we get 9 subtract 8 plus 8x. It's plus because a negative times a negative is a positive. Next, combine like terms. 9 minus 8 is 1. 1 plus 8x is less than or equal to 5. Next, collect variable terms on one side and constant terms on the other. Subtract 1 here and here. 8x is less than or equal to 4. Next, divide both sides by the positive quantity 8. And remember that because it's positive, we do not have to swap our sign. So we get x is less than or equal to 4 eighths, which reduces to 1 half. So our answer is x is less than or equal to 1 half. Okay, let's try another problem. x fourths greater than or equal to 4 minus x eighths. Okay, this problem doesn't have any grouping symbols, but it does have fractions. So let's clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 4 and 8 is 8. So the entire left side will get multiplied by 8, and the entire right side will get multiplied by 8. So on the left side, we have 8 times x fourths. Let's do that in our side workspace. 8 times x fourths is the same thing as 8 over 1 times x fourths. We know that 8 divided by 4 is 2. So we can reduce 8 over 4 to become 2 over 1. Now multiply the fractions. 2 times x, 2x. 1 times 1, 1. Anything divided by 1 is itself, so this is 2x. On the right side, we distribute. 8 times 4 is 32. And 8 times x eighths. Let's again go to our side workspace. 8 times x eighths could be written as 8 over 1 times x over 8. The eighths cancel. They both turn into the number 1. So then, what do I have? 1x over 1, or simply x. So, subtract x. Now collect all variable terms on one side, plus x, plus x, and we get 3x greater than or equal to 32. Divide both sides by the positive quantity 3, and remember that for a positive you do not swap the sign of your inequality symbol. And we get x is greater than or equal to 32 thirds. We leave our answer as 32 thirds. We do not write a decimal approximation because if we did, it would end in 0.6666 repeating and that would force us to round. The moment you round, your answer is no longer exact. We want an exact answer. So we leave it as x is greater than or equal to 32 thirds.